Oh my god, I thought I was done making videos tonight that were like this because I thought I already saw the stupidity that the internet could have and then I scrolled once. Nintendo has been really on a rampage lately. I really wonder what's going on over at Shittendo. I mean, you can see I still have the tabs up for like video details on the Helldivers video. I didn't even close it yet. It's been like five minutes since I finished that recording. I didn't even have time to like adjust and get comfortable and like go get another water bottle full of water because I'm trying to be healthier and not drink soda all the time. And then I come across this crap. This crap. You know, I should have a face cam. The, I talk with my hands a lot. I'm sure it would help with viewership if... Whatever. Let me know if you want to see my ugly mug in the comments down below. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, dear God. Nintendo hits GitHub with DMCA takedown notice for 8,500 repositories. Nintendo has filed more than 8,500 Digital Millennium Copyright Act notices, DMCAs, for repositories hosting Yuzu Switch emulator code. So it this doesn't really have anything to do with, like, game mods or something like that. More of people that tried to clone the Yuzu emulator code and host it on their own GitHubs and stuff like that. But realistically if they remove the stuff if it's changed enough doesn't that mean it's legally okay or is I, this is where I don't understand how the laws work so Yuzu was hit taken down out of action taken to court all that jazz they removed themselves from the internet and now other people are hosting bits and pieces of the code, modified versions of it, for example. Uh, maybe they're not even doing the same thing Yuzu was doing. Is Yuzu as a whole illegal now? Even if you change the name of it, are modifying the code slowly and re-releasing it just as is, not doing any of the things that Yuzu itself was doing? Because the whole thing with Yuzu and the reason it got taken down was largely because of their Patreon where they were making like 30000 dollars a month and a whole bunch of other things. They were literally linking tutorials to people on how to uh, get specific Switch games working, even ones that were leaked. A um, whole bunch of stuff that when it came to the Switch. But one of my favorite things I always like to reference and why I always say it will be always morally correct to pirate Nintendo stuff. I say this because I remember a YouTube video I saw that no longer exists. Gee, I wonder why. It no longer exists. Of Tears of the Kingdom running at 60 FPS on a Gen 1 Switch that was jailbroken with software, like my personal Switch, running Linux, running a Switch emulator on the Linux distro, and it was running Tears of the Kingdom better than the console can run it just standard by itself. Sometimes you got to look at what the modding community is doing and just take a step back. I don't know if this audio effect is going to transfer, but I'm sitting further back from my mic. And kind of just ask for help. Hire the people, damn it. That's what Bethesda did with the modding community for Skyrim. They hired some of those people. Same with the Fallout people. Let's actually get into this article because I'm already sitting here blubbering for four minutes. Nintendo has continued its crusade to remove any content that's being profiteered from that contains the company's copyrighted materials. Makes sense. These are cool images. They really are. Like, this is hilarious. I really wonder if these are AI generated. I bet they are. Uh, do we just have a stream one of these days where I just play with Bing Image AI for a little bit? Uh, let me know. Anyway, <laughs> the latest in Nintendo's efforts to expunge its content from the internet 
is a DMCA notice for 8,535 GitHub repositories, which are the most basic element on GitHub and it is a place where developers are able to store their code, files, and more. Wow, I read that pretty stupidly. Uh, sometimes I can't read. Uh, DMCA, the DMCA notice alleges these repositories containing Nintendo IP, particularly hosting code from the Yuzu Switch emulator. Nintendo said enabled piracy at a colossal scale, which did it, did it. I mean, yeah. The issuing of the DMCA notice came after Nintendo settled a lawsuit with Yuzu's creators for $2.4 million. More specifically, Nintendo claims that these repositories contain Yuzu source code that illegally circumvents Nintendo's technological protection measures and runs illegal copies of Switch games. GitHub has responded to the takedown notice and explained developers will have time to make changes to their content before it is removed. So that's a good thing. GitHub is kind of standing in the middle. It's... Uh, I'm glad they're kind of stepping in, stepping up, and being like, hey, we're going to inform them first. We're not just going to let you bully people. Uh, furthermore, GitHub, owned by Microsoft, wrote that it would provide guidance towards legal resources and submitting a DMCA counter notice. That's also awesome. So they are allowing people to at least try to edit the code if they know how, which is going to be like 1% maybe of that 8,500 GitHub repositories. Most of those are probably just clones of clones of clones of clones of clones just to try to keep it on GitHub in some form or fashion. You know what this really reminds me of is the days of early Lith Archive when we were getting close to releasing uh, Combat Arms Reborn, a uh, project that shall not be named because uh, the loaf gets mad. Um, when we were getting close to releasing that, they had, they had to, they paid people to do this. They had to have paid employees and wasted time doing this. There was something like 2,200 download links through Mega and Google Drive for Archive All the Things Lith Tech. Basically, it was a fun little project of just how much Lith Tech can we archive? Not just Combat Arms, but like No One Lives Forever 2 mods, uh, AVP 2 mods, Fear Stuff, Source Code. Contract Jack stuff, uh, New York Disaster stuff, uh, what is that, Tears of Evertide or whatever, uh, that weird RPG, uh, Cyclone BMX. They DMCA'd 2,200 links individually, not just taking out entire accounts, but like mod tools and everything. Every single thing pertaining to Lithtech, they DMCA'd. 99.9% .9 of what they tra they DMCA'd was not legal for them to DMCA, but how do we fight back? That's the problem. Small people can't fight back against these large corporations when it comes to DMCA. DMCA is so outdated because of that fact alone that someone like me just can't fight back. So anyway... That's uh, that's the other story and stupidity that came out for the night. I'm just going to turn my computer. It's midnight. It's nearly, it's 11.56 p.m. It is nearly tomorrow. And I just don't want to deal with any more stupidity tonight. So I'm just going to turn my computer off. Go watch some like brain dead Minecraft YouTube content and fall asleep, I guess. I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, peace out <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs>